So I'd like to remind people again that I published the previous part a couple days ago. So with these, I'm I'm not pu I'm not recording the next one until I've published the previous one. So if you do put comments um, on this, I will be able to see them. Like within you know a day or two after it's published, I will be able to see them before I record the next part. I say that because in the past, and I will continue to do this in the future. Often I will record a whole and like an entire game, and then not upload the first episode until the last episode is even recorded. So if you put a comment on it, I won't see it until um, after I finish the entire game. And so if you give, if you tell me if you tell me something about the game that you want me to see while playing it, I won't be able to see it. Okay, but this one is different. Uh, so if you do say, if you do leave a comment that says, hey, I think, like, it's okay to, like, give game advice. Um, because this isn't really a mystery game as much. I know Bonesy tried to make a mystery out of it. He tried to make it kind of, um, mystical, but it isn't that big of a deal if I get spoiled on something. So you could say, oh, like, Right there, like, there's a little place where there's like three or four pixels that are darker than the rest of the texture about the center part of the wall, or on the tree in the upper right behind some of the, the, the leafless tree that behind the branches, kind of the color blending with, in with the branches, there's a key. You can say those kind of things. And I would see it before I record the next one. Okay. Um, let's see if there's breakfast. Now, my character does seem to be moving oddly slow. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. There's something funny going on with my motion here. Huh. Like, I, one tap of the key as, like, moves beyond the t this, this is something funny. Something's off. And if this persists too long, I'm going to close the game and restart it. Now, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to here. I forgot. Um, but that's not a big problem. I can just press the minus key. Finally, Pyrokuko stone. Okay, and it gives me the hint. So I said, that's just it. Well, I have to figure out the entrance to where I'm trying to go to find the Pyrokuko stone. Um, wouldn't I have to talk to the jungle dweller? Sorry, the way to the residential section is blocked because the library was burned down on the next platform. The platform is now unstable. Okay. We're not sure how soon we can repair it, with what with all the Tahunga busy preparing defenses against the Rahunga. You know what you forgot there when you wrote that dialogue? Tree speak. Storage huts, that may come up, come up later. Yeah, I'm still trying to remember if I always moved this slow. Did I always, was I always this slow?
Happy greetings, mapmaker. You should check out Nebia's bomb shop. I hear tell she's looking for someone to test new bomb ingredients in her mixing lab. Oh, please help. I want to prank somebody by splashing them with water. But I'm afraid everybody will think I'm an evil Rohunga. Will you let me splash you? I'll pay you five protos. Yes. We oui, here's your protos. Thanks. You can just do that repeatedly? Okay. Happy greetings. I am now time visiting the Quoro after bad fight. If you need heal help, just say the word. I would cost not anything, not even energy. Who are you? I am Kiwonga, the healer. The Taraga have given me a bow staff so I can make you mask use. This Tahonga Haleki is a mask of healing. I don't here live. My tree home is to the northeast of the village, near close to Takoro. That way I can transfer fly to help the injured island wide. My tree place is guarded by many such many much Rukifi spiders and a giant Lahoika bee Lahoida bee. I fast ride the bee far wide to, to heal help. I hear now because there are dark dank there there was dank sad, much bad harm to Vindigaku pilots when they dis decoy flu to give you a travel chance. They are all healed now, but while you Koro stay, I will stay too. Sure clear. There you go. May you have luck ha may luck have on your map quest. Have you stone found yet? Are you the map maker? I've heard so much. It is a great honor to meet you. Well, thanks, but I'm the one who's honored to meet you, Toaliwa. Happy thanks and hello again, I Ito the Jungle Dweller. How was the long trek here? Early on, we sorry fought Rahi and a Rahunga angry chased us. Yikes, great luck, great luck you escaped. I heart wish I could quest help, but that hide full might Koro come. We're kind of bad at the tree speak, honestly. <laughs> All six of us tow a heart hope that you can fulfill your destiny. If only we might knew what the blue fire was. Slump Defense HQ, okay. Elevator to Swamp Defense Machine. Which want to defend the swamp? How? Much year ago, Twy the Inventor idea made a machine he called the Swamp Defense Machine. I now call it the Whaminator. Controls the real Kanohi Matatu, a mask of telekinesis, to power move a battle node. Battle nodes are bamboo spinners charged with infection purging Geku wing energy. Fortunately, Twi died before he could formake. Now we know he dark turned, became, became an evil Rahunga. But the Waminator still works. Simply use the arrow keys to far steer the battle node. And no fly over all Rahi. Node fly over all Rahi. Don't pass up the Rahi behind you. 
For every Rahi green flash, wham free. I'll proto pay 20, but for e each every beast you let pass, I'll charge you 100. So take care. Right now, another guard is operating it. She'll move aside and let you in control when you go down. To machine leave, just press enter or space. To back in go, click the left machine side. To here come the proto get, click the elevator. Sure, I'll, I'll gamble away all my protos. There we go, okay. Whoops. Rahi are really infrequent, that's for sure. But where did they get past me from? I didn't see them at all. Well, there's one. There's another one. Is that one of the ones I missed? I would miss because that's pretty small, yes.
Not experienced that. It's definitely a glitch. I got stuck moving left there for a moment. There you go. 269 protos. to play, play try fire juice soccer? How do you play? Fire juice soccer is what I off time do when I'm not fire flower gathering for the bomb shop. Some fire juice isn't good for ammo making. Instead of toss wasting it, I made this fun game. To goal score, push the fire juice blob to the left hole. But the Kunlik lizard will seek chase you. If it blob touches, curse bloosh, the blob blast pops and you must restart with new blob. Blob push by behind walking. If you push it against a wall, press enter or space to blob kick overhead to move it be behind you. The platform and the Kunrik's path change as you more score. You can play as long as you wish, wish want. Me talk to game end and reward widget. You get 20 for each score up to 20. You proto get 40 for each for each score. Oh. Sure, I'll try this. This is really hard, actually. It might have something to do with how my movement is seemingly accidentally nerfed. Let's try to find the entrance to the jungle, which you're supposed to go to. Lee Koro Main, Targa Mat House, Residential, Lee Koro Inn, Green Eatery and Shop, Fire Juice Soccer Swamp Defense Machine. Okay, elevator is directly to the right. Yeah, before I continue, I'm going to, um...
save my game, overriding the 14 slot. And then I'm going to try to um, restart the game in an attempt to see if I can solve the see if the slow movement problem can be solved, or not. That's just inherent to Lee Coro, and it's not going to ever be solved. Okay. It loads in. It, it always starts in full screen and I have to take it out of full screen. Because RPG Maker 2000, when it full screens, it warps the aspect ratio. Nope, still slow. Okay. Well, phooey. You should north walk and try play Gaku flying. All the Gaku force members happy, love it, and they're much, much, much cool. I am a great flyer at Gaku flying. The secret trick is to self-train to react feel, not head think. Hope wish to be a Gaku force member sometime. Okay. Gaku flying rules are basic simple, all you, but all the tips and other details can be head-scratching fa fa fancy much. So I will hard try to simple speak, not tree speak. Choose a subject. Gaku flying is a practice game for Gaku Force members, Gekko racers, and anyone who enjoys flying. It pits the rider and his bird against situations similar to actual air battle. You ride a Gekko bird with its wing fields active. You speed over the jungle canopy. In your path are hovering bamboo spinners with a light stone in the center. Some light stones are charged with green energy from a Gaku's, for, from a Gaku's wings. Flying over these earns a point. Points are displayed in orange on the upper left of your screen. This represents ammo pickups that, are, that we hide in the wahi, bomb fruit or edible fruit growing up on trees and other things Gaku force members might pick up to aid their, in their air battle. The other kind of light stone is purple. We've, we've shot, we charge with shadow energy from infected Konohi we've captured. These weaken your gecko and make take away five points. Avoid them. They represent all small obstacles such as weak branches or leaf clumps that, that a gecko forest member should have to dodge in air battle. Use the arrow keys to move right and left. The object of the game is to get as many points as possible by avoiding the purple bamboo spinners and hitting the green ones. Small trained birds appear when you get a certain number of points. Hitting these with your discs while knocking off infected Konohi if this was real battle, earns bonus points. You will use bamboo discs like the one in the, in the game, just like real Gaku Force members use. Unlike your special disc, they do not bounce back, but our Suva teleports them back to your Gecko. Press shift to fire. You can fire while dodging, but you can hold shift down to fire rapidly. Because you have more than one and the Suva teleports them back, you have unlimited ammo. More subjects. There are six different birds that you can hit. The first bird is a 10 Windle Flyer. It appears when you get 15 or more points. It's worth 10 points if you hit it with your disc. At twice that amount, there are 30 points. The Grey Wind Flyer comes out. It's worth 5 more points than the 10 bird, 15 points. At 60 points, the Orange Wind Flyer comes out. It's worth 20 points. The next doubling of points takes you into the 100. So you get to 120 points and yellow-green ghost wing birds appear. It's worth 25 points. The only one more bird appears in this way. The lime green ghost wing comes out at 240 points. It is worth 30 points. Note that when you hit one of these birds, the amount of bonus points you earned is displayed briefly underneath the orange point counter. The last bird is related to the green numbers on the upper right of your screen. These are consecutive points. 
As you fly over green bamboo spinners, these numbers keep track of how many you hit consecutively. That is in a row. You can hit as many green spinners in a row as you can. If you get 10 greens in a row, you get times 2 bonus. Times 2 single symbol appears below the consecutive points. Doubles the points to 20, adds the 20 points to your score, and starts the consecutive points over at 0. This also triggers the 6th bird to appear. This is the Tufted Toucan. It's yellow-orange with lime tufts to and beak tip. It flies faster than the other birds and is worth as much as all the other birds together. That is 100 points. If you fail to get the Tufted Toucan and hit a purple spinner before t t 10 consecutives, the consecutive points are added to your score as, all as is and the 5 points subtracted. So if you have the 2 greens, you get 2 normal points and 2 consecutives, which is 4 points. But if you lose 5 points, so overall, you, the, the, la the lost one point, try to hit at least three green greens in a row. Remember that hitting any bird is worth more than five points, so you can worry a little less about the purples when you hit birds. But if your aim is bad, you will lose points that way. The game changes as you get huge amounts of points. If you get at least a thousand points, the purple spinner is sometimes replaced by a tame Dewey Rama that's painted purple. The Rama is bigger and thus easier to see. Its head is the only part you need to take, make sure your wings don't touch. However, if you do hit it, it claws your Goku's wing fields, taking 50 points. When you get to 5,000 points, it appears more often. It represents quite simply affected Nui Rama that fight Goku force members in air battle. At 3,000 protos, 3,000 points, a special purple bamboo spinner appears with a Daiku plant suspended beneath it. This takes away 100 points. It represents a tree in the Wahi. An air battle collision with an unmovable tree trunk is the worst possible kind. Daiku Spinner appears more often at 7,000 points. At 9,000 points, it always appears. Other changes help you. At 6,000 points, a green spinner is sometimes replaced by a giant tough toucan. It's worth 30 points. It's roughly three times the size of a tough toucan, but glides towards you so that you simply fly over it, just like a green spinner. It appears only on the edge of your screen. Because the game gets more challenging as you move into the thousands of points, you get a thousand bonus for every thousand when you end the game. The thousand bonuses are added to the existing score after it's already been multiplied by two. Each thousand bonus is equal to half the thousand intervals you've reached or passed. For thousand points to above, up to two thousand, you get five hundred extra protos. For two thousand, you get a thousand extra protos. Two thousand, okay. Example: If you reach, ah, uh, this is boring. responding there we go okay whoa whoa whoa
Yeah, notice how complicated he made the idea to have infinitely many shots. It's like, it teleports back to you so that you can... It's like, you say you have infinite shots. It's not like an overwrought explanation. He'd like lore for that.
Ah, immediately lost it. I'm surprised that that two times score multiplier was only temporary. I thought that it was going to be like, I get two times score for everything until my streak gets broken. It appears it only appears briefly and then you go back to zero on your streak. Which makes it kind of useless. And not much to worry about.
Oh, I got really backpedaled quite a bit there. I'm already black, black, below 3,500. I forgot how much maximum score is. This guy can earn it back. There we go. I have to hit the hard one of the hard ones again to get it back.
Okay, 4,500. Five thousand. Forgot anything. If, forgot if anything happens at five thousand. Assume not. I'm gonna quit if when I get to six thousand. Okay, over 5,500.
Got close to 6,000 and they start getting like hammered. And one hard bird away. Yeah, 6,000. How do I quit? Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, my eyes are so weird. My computer screen seems to be warping to me. How long have I been recording? Ooh, oh, an hour already. Okay. I have 23,000 protos. Money becomes basically unspeakable once you discover that game, it appears. Where's the shop? Okay, left and then down. Uh, there is no left. Down and then left. Okay, got the order, the order wrong. Cause I know the shops closed, but what if the restaurants open? The rest so I can buy restaurants open so I can see if there's any food. Probably what's going on here is you can't really. Food is probably like the price of gas in some really remote place. It's going to be really high because they know they got you over a barrel because you can't go back to Takoro. It's your only choice, so they're going to charge you a lot for your food. There was some really bad value. Um, the only thing that's not of bad value. Okay, the Bula Berry is good. Okay, so max out on Bula Berries. Max out on Fire Bread. Okay, not necessarily the best, but I can only get 99 of each thing at a time, so... I, you know... Okay.
Cool. Now let's actually try to get out of Leak Horo for once. For finally. Actually start doing the quest. I forgot how many points you needed on the uh, Gaku Flying to actually get the nine, the 99,000 protos. Or the 10,000 minus one protos. But I didn't bother. Ironically, probably protos are useless after this part of the game. So I go down? Okay, here we are finally. Can I equip stuff? Yes, I can. I can't go to the left. That's interesting. It's like blocked off. So 
can't go up either. Huh. What? Okay. It's all these artificial restrictions. Okay, now my movement's full speed. Looking for weeds, right? It's not taking very much of my health, which is good. Yes, I noticed the Pyrococo stone there, so... I know if I defeat this boss, I'll be able to get it. The problem is, is like... The bosses always tend to be... Take like a, a massive amount of hits. I 
so the fight is very protracted. Alright, if you defeated it, okay. Six stones you pack have. Speak talk to Twaga Matau now time. That was surprisingly easy compared to some of those other Pyrococo stones. So at least my movement isn't permanently stuck slow, it's just really slow in the coral. get back. Come on. Why can't I heal? There we go. Numpy keys weren't working again. Try turning the numlock on. Oh, we funnel. How do I get out of this area? Is it a glitch or something? Should be able to get out of this area. Yeah, not only can I not get out of this area, I can't get back the way I came into this area as well.
Uh, easier said than done. Time to restart the game again, hopefully, like hoping this is some sort of weird door glitch that restarting the game will get me out of. You know, like the scene changes are working. I'm gonna try restarting the game. I'm not like disappointed in, like, I'm, not, I'm not stumped with this. Okay. Spain. Cannot get out of here. I thought you went in here from the left, didn't you? Not like from the top. Oh, okay. Sorry about all that. You went up from the, you went in from the top, not to the top, not from the side. Okay. That was kind of a brain fart. Oh, I'm back to full speed now.
Oh, cool. Why was I slow before? Can I try that mini game again now and maybe I can actually beat it this time now that I'm not like speed nerfed? How do you score a second one? That's the trouble part. Oh, I see, okay. Oh well, at least I got one. Leaving Lee Coral and comes back, comes back, come back, coming back in seems to fix the slow movement glitch. Did you stone find? Yes, we have all six now. Happy great. I too have good news. Congo has map made. Here it is. Yeah, the Liwahi map. Now, Hujo, I asked you and Ito to, co to come alone come because we agree there are some secrets the other Taraga and me too think you need know about the blue fire. Matau, I have more news about deep secrets. What say? I heart think we are meant to Hujo tell about the, well, the para you know what. Oh, that sounds like control. Hujo has signs seen in his night visions. Oh, the paracosmos, not para utilitarianism. Minute wait, you know about that? Oh, yes, didn't I say that? Say, did that say yet? No, Ito, you definitely did not. That they only us told few days past. We have not even spoke told to. It to the Toa. What secret stays? You didn't Toa tell the other thing. I have good cause to think Hujo, to mind think Hujo needs no. And why would he sign C if he not meant to legend no? I know not. The other Turaga will have to be spoke asked. I can't just what that tell on my own. And I forbid you to self tell him. I will note sin for them to Kini stay. Then this no. Mao Mao Ho Hu Jo Tio Vaiku Mao Tu Ti Wake Wonga Nu Romos Ru Mahehi Kamao Te Mahehi Mao Hiti Kakuna Lokai Kral Akuni Kiru Neo Nu Ramos Ihi Orakunu Orakunu Ramos Pohuki Kral Tarika Maui Nugiki Kamu Te Ahe Ponga Koma Kumao Ujute Vaiku Mauhu Waha Akarunga Neo Krong Mahuti Turi Ti Taluhi Nu Kehihi Tori Ti Kauhi E Tua I see very well. I will this tell the other Taraga, but he will first need to fulfill his destiny. If that happens, then I agree he should legend know. For now time, we will speak tell him what we plan to. Tell me something, or I'll go insane. You said something about the blue fire. Well, do you know what it is? Not all. I have a muddle thought about it. But we sure know it's an element. Not the same fire as Ta Toa Tahu's element. I'm sure you all know that much hot fire is blue. Yes, but normal fire is only blue in the center. 
it looks yellow, orange, or red from outside it. I, I presume, I haven't studied fire, but I presume it's just black body radiation. So, the higher the central frequency, the hotter it burns, essentially. Well, we guess think that blue fire is magic kept from cooling that lake. There is an old tale of many kinds of magic fire. We think blue fire is one. I see. Could this have something to do with shadow fire? I had a vision last night that mentioned it. It's going to attack us probably at Kini Nui. That I know not. It might. Was there much else in the vision? Yeah. <sighs> it says I'll have to face my greatest fear. And something about the blue fire consuming everything. Even me. I still am not sure what is my greatest fear. But well, I have to admit, I'm getting very scared. All these vague threats, Makuta trying to kill me. I'm not sure I can do this. Maybe I should turn back, give up. But the villages, the Toa need me to complete this destiny. Oh, they'll never find the Kanohi and defeat Makuta. Well, I think it's a tell, it's tell, it's tell time for the other thing then. This, this thing, that's not a tree speech contraction. This thing we, we Taraga, have thousand year hidden from all of you, Matoran, except Ito and even the Toa. If you want to this know, you must promise to, to none tell. Even to not the Toa. I promise. What? You mind see. We think guess. The blue fire is an element like Tahu fire. Normally all Toa can use elemental power. What you know not is that most Toa were first form Matoran. You mean, I'll become a Toa? You might. You might not. Aha, just... We only just want you to know that you might could. If you do, you can revert time back turn. Oh, you can never time back turn. This might well be your great fear. I know it was mine. I was a Toa once, and I'm a Toran before. All six Traga were. Wow. I always thought maybe you had been Matoran, but not Toa. But why did you fear it? With Toa power, only the most powerful can harm you. <sighs> the most powerful want to harm you. Hujo, look at me. I am old weak. I once was bold strong, eager quick like you. As a Toa, I was body strong, but I could not simply live. My mind was old tired long before my body was. I longer for my old life. I still do. But you might could a Toa stay, Hujo. Normal time, Matoran cannot mask use, but there's a tool way they can. Yes, there's speak called Dao Staffs. We guess think perhaps you'll find a tool like tool them like, but you can fire use as a Matoran, but we don't know. So you can. And way by, there is an extra Dao Staff at Kininui. When we there get, you can have. Yes, we only have four masks, but they will keep you battle fright, battle fight. If any Rahi tries, try to Kini come, while Rugo finishes the stone maps. I see. I wish I knew if I'd become a Toa, though. I'd rather know. Whatever your destiny, remember duty and unity all time. Yes, sir. Now we must party join and Kini go. Swap go. I will. I will show the the, the tree cave tunnel that Kini leads. I'll go to fly there with Kongu, after I note sin to the Turaga Tukini stay. I'm, I first must deal with some muddles in my Turaga library. There is much to mid-mind think. Okay, we're headed for Kinui now. Down ride the elevator, and walk past the tour leg bird guard writers. Then go to the small East Island tree tap. Gotta write that down. Small East Island. That is the high door to the tunnel. Is that the door I've been seeing all this time and just can't go into? Uh, first thing is, can this guy heal me? Cool. Mm. 
Time to go back to the elevator. At full speed this time. So it's gonna become a tour of plasma? Is that what they're saying? I don't think plasma is blue, but... I just get lost. <laughs> I was trying to go down, but like, that's easier said than done. <laughs> to go up and to the right. Now what? I go down, now I go down. Okay, I'm gonna pause the encoding here and go take a potty break because I'm gonna have to dig in for a long haul, I think. If I'm guessing correctly about what's about to happen, we're gonna, we're gonna go on a very long road to Kinui. Okay, I am back and ready to do this. At least I say I am. I'm ready as I'm ever gonna be, that is. Tiny ghost goes to Kininui Hall? Yes. It incomes close near to front gate. Song Sphere Fly Time. <laughs> Daki Luck, a Makuta spy. Does this mean Mikuna knows about the Song Sphere? Sorry, sure. Don't here leave the Song Sphere, Mikuta will Rahi, Rahi send. Oh, Tokuto. Greetings, map maker. Enter door. I'll come down. Welcome to Kininui Hall, map maker. Rugan the Carver is in the main hall. Stone map carving. The Taraga you Taraga are there too, waiting for you. Once you are there, take the Liwahi map. The Taraga will gift gift give you gift give to help you fight guard the stronghold along with me and the other guards while Rugo map carves. Let us heart hope the Rohunga stay away. Where is the main hall? It is past those, through those doors, and on the other side of the courtyard, past Kini Nui. Another guard will wait tell you from there. Who are you? I am the newest member of the Kini Nui guard. I am a Gaku Force member, and my friend Jumbo, but with the vowels switched, so Jumbu, was described for this guard shift. But Jombu betrayed us, 
a dark turd, to a Rohung Rohunga. When Liwa truce found about the Rohunga, Jombu upgave his disguise and left us to join the Rohunga hide camp. He note left how telling us to help a dying friend and resigned his guard post. He remembered he recommended me to post take. It feels weird being here because of our Rohunga's note words. But I sure know there is still good in my old friend. Poor Jambu, I can't tur turn flee from Akuda now. Do you expect a Rahunga, a Rahunga attack? I don't think so. This is Makuda's last chance to stop you. He will take it, I'm scared sure. You must be ready. I am glad such a long learned guard as you, Tlaino, is here. Thank you. If only Kanohi were still alive, though. Oh, Kanoka. Kanoka was still alive, though. My battle skills are nothing compared to his. Ah, oh, yes, even I have tail, tail heard of his heroic Rahi fights. He is sorry missed by all. Guard well, Mapmaker. If you need me, I'll be in the watchroom up ladder. Doesn't matter which one you picked. Well, I won't mess around too much with that. I will kind of walk around though before I go. Before I go in the hall, just so I know what I'm up against here. To some degree. Oh, that's the hall. Okay. Is there just car towers? There's a Suva right in the middle. Welcome, map maker. You may enter. Welcome to the hall, map maker. There's the carving room. Follow the hallway that starts behind the ladder. At the top end of it, there's another ladder. Go up. Our scribe Jet. Jerobu will be waiting. She'll let you in the carving room. There are six of us on the shift of the guard. One to hunger from each of the Koro. Five are guards, and one is a scribe who can also guard. You met Taku Takuto from Lee Koro. He just replaced Jombo, our former scribe, who became an evil Rahunga. Jerobu, a Pokoronin, and the only other female besides me took over as scribe. I am Kikane of Gakoro. The others are Ryako of Anukoro, Anikuno of Takoro, and Moklono, M Mokholo of Kokoro. They are in the high guard towers that overlook the region. There are two other shifts as well. Each shift, sp sp shift spends a few days at, the at a time here, then goes home to the Koro for the rest of the time. It's a dangerous place to guard, but very important. There are many things of legend in this building, and of course, the Kini Nui itself is also important. Originally, the Kini Nui was just a mysterious round platform with four spires, but some of the most fearsome Rahi attacked it hundreds of years ago. With nobody guarding it regularly, they did severe damage to its stone structure. The, Tar the Taraga Think Makuda wanted to seal off a passageway to his lair that's beneath it. We set up regular guard shifts. I was among them, but it became very dangerous with no walls to protect us, so we built these castle walls. 
The Taraga had many things from ancient times that they needed to hide in a safe place. And with rumors of the powerful hidden enemy growing, we built this hall to store those things. We built it out of the same strong stone that Rugen was carving our maps out of. Is carving our maps out of. No known Rahi can damage it, at least not easily. We can fight them off before they before they do now. This is also where the Taraga store spare Tahonga Kanohi masks. Our replacements as replacements of any of ours get smashed. We need to unlock the door before we can go through it. The lock switch is next to the door. It's the wrong way, but I just want to see what's here. There is a lot of voids. And there are boss fights in the voids. Oh, they're just Rahi, okay. All these could become infected all of a sudden, and then we'd have a problem. No, I don't want to... Supply storage. Can't have too much fire juice. Okay, I'm on the second floor. Oh. 
Jeraboo, the carving room is through these wall doors, mapmaker. Turaga may come is waiting for you. Hey. Good. You've made it, Hujo. We've heard some awful stories from Lee Court Willy Wahi lately. I have concern d you would not make it. You have the Cohen Lee Wahi maps? Yep, here you go, Rugen. Thanks, I'll get right to work. Nuhuri and Kiapohi brought the other four Wahi ma backup maps. And we've already carved those onto the seven stone maps. So I see, thanks. The maps of Kini of Kiniwahi were spared, thankfully. That is that's on the maps too. Yes, and Jumbo had plenty of opportunities to destroy them. It seems Wakuda must not have learned from your destiny until only a few days ago. Or of. Which is very strange. Wakuda usually knows just about everything from our experience. No, I want Nigeria and Ito to stay here. Uhuri and Kiapohi have much to update you on. They will accompany you while you guard. Tleno, stay with Hujo. I will happy go happy help room guard. Thank you. Now, Hujo, come over here. Are these Suva? Yes, we store backups here. Since the Suva and the Koro are on Kininu, we are damaged every once in a while in a Rahi raid. We have four masses of power for you. The Suva will allow you to, to switch between them with Numpad Plus. With the Numpad Plus button. You need a Bout Staff to be able to use the Kanohi powers. Since you are only a Tara Tahonga, you may have the one we keep. At Kini Nui. Noble Ken a noble Kanohi Jahiru. Great Ka Kanohi Haleki. A great Kanohi Koruka. And a great Kanohi Waruma. You may now ask me about each as name and power now. This is the noble version of the powerless mask you already had. It increases the accuracy and therefore the damage of your projectile attacks and punches. Noble J here, okay. So that's just more damage. Great ha ha Halinki. The Halinki enables you to heal any injuries you understand. When you wear it, your HP will slowly regenerate automatically, costing less e EP than normal healing. Okay, that sounds really useful. If you are attacked and find you, you need ammo or food, you can buy more from the small square rooms like the one behind you in this room's corner. Now go, take your station in the outer entrance of the courtyard where Taku Ta Takuto was stationed. You may explore around Kininui Hall in the courtyard first if you like. After the maps are carved, Ito will come get you. Then we'll place the Pyrokoku stones around the map and see what happens. Explore around, okay. Good, I can ask this. I can still read the mass powers. The Kochuka Mask of Deflection generates an energy field that deflects most attacks back to the attacker with equal force. It protects you from some damage. The Waruma shields you against any extreme temperature attack, whether heat or cold. Should come in handy against shadow fire, we're guessing. I'm gonna remember what this one looks like. Okay, it looks like that.
It came from a mysterious silver canister that Nuju found in Kowahi. Much like the one Pohatu and Anua found in Powahi a few days ago. The canister trapped Nuju alive inside. He's lucky to be alive. It took all of his mental effort to use his telekinesis to open the door to the canister. Are the canisters... Where the canisters come from or what their true nature pur their true purpose is, I cannot fathom. I started tree speaking by accident there. Nature purpose. Goodbye. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Return to the front gate. Okay, my advice is to stay down in the room. Down in this room. If we went up on the guard tower, any enemies might see us. This way we might have a surprise on our side. If anything strange happens, Takuto will tell us. Well, now there's nothing to do but wait. Uhuri and Kiapohi, you have, you have, do you have news? Yes, well, Nijiri probably told you about, told you that I had woken up in the night in Kowahi and saw a shapeshifter shifting being disguised as a tablet come from your pack and steal the maps. Yeah, she said you and Kiapohi followed it. Kuhuri woke me up after it left, so I could draw a map of where it went. We followed the, its footsteps, trying to stay far away from it, because we assumed it must have been the hidden enemy. This was before we knew about Rohonga, of course. It was dark, but with my experience at night vision and the bright snow, I could tell it was humanoid. A little taller... Humanoid? Do you realize that this is a Bionicle fan game, Bonesy? Did you just say humanoid? What's a human? I don't know what a human is. That's not canon. A little taller than a Toa, with a large scissor sword. So it's Zaktan? But we only caught glimpses of it from a distance, so we can't really describe it better than that. We followed it for a few far ways, then it met up with another being. It looked like a Tahunga, but just taller. It must have been a Rahunga, but the being... We were following didn't look much like a Tahunga at all. It acted as if it was trying to hide from the Rahunga at first. I got the impression it was trying to keep itself a secret. Then it gave orders to the Rahunga, so I think it might be their leader. I kept making rough sketches of where we were, but the snowy hills in that area are so confusing. I can't be sure if my map was right, but we followed it all the way to a doorway in the, in the side of the hill. The hidden camp? Yeah. There was actually an illusion covering the doorway up, which must be why nobody has seen it until now. The illusion disappeared as and the two beings went in. We saw several other Rahunga inside, from all six Wahi, some of them in a Turaga in, in Tahunga form. One of them I recognized, an Anu Koronin who had died, or so we thought. I guess he really faked his death so he could go into hiding without raising suspicion. And just before they closed the door, I saw the leader set the maps on a stone table and aim his sword at it. I couldn't see clearly, but I guess he fired some sort of energy at them. There's a flash, a loud crashing sound, a dust cloud. When it cleared, just as the door was closing, there was nothing but shards of stone and slivers of paper left. Yikes, good thing we made backups. Yeah, after we snuck back towards the cable car, which we could see from a nearby hill, we met Nijiri on the way, and told her what was going on. Then we went back to Takoro, we got the backup map, and then went to Ga and Powahi to do the same. We think the undercover Rahunga must have been in Pokoro and realized what we were doing. Because the Anukoro library was destroyed before we arrived. You didn't have the map, you didn't have to map all those tunnels again, did you? 
No, Tarayo Indo had secretly ordered I Azibo to make a copy. He had to he had Toa Tahu tell him w with his mask of telecommunication as soon as he heard about the Rahunga from Liwahi. Azibu saw us come and gave it to us. He's obviously no Rahunga. Indeed. So when we came here, the Rugen and Rugen got to work on the seven stone masks with these four Ra Ra Wahi plus Kini Kini. Kiniwahi. And while we waited on you to come, I secretly made still more copies of those maps, by the way. The Turaga have hidden them away, just in case. Good. I hope you're right that this leader guy wants to stay a secret. He sounds far worse than normal Rahunga. Yeah, but from what Matau told us about Liwa and Itu's battle with Rahunga, they're really dangerous too. In Rahunga form, they can use mass powers. They each have an anti-elemental elemental power that they channel through their tools, a special tool power, and they can infect on touch. Anti-elemental power, that would make sense with shadow fire. That means we should expect Tarahunga. Well, at least my vision made it sound like only one will attack. Be time now. Do you hear voices? We have visitors. Stand ready just in case. Who is it? It's a group of Takoro guards, seven of them. Takoro guards, whom? Ubekama asked to talk to Tahu with his Rai Kauri mask and asked him to come. We can show you help. What if they're all Rahunga? Seven Rahunga. That would be horrible. Jala is with them. I highly doubt it's the Rahunga. One of them said he has he has an urgent message for Vekama, and you only, Hujo. It's something secret. Maybe they know which Rahunga is going to attack. All right, let them in. If they're Rahunga, they'll still there's still another door between them and the maps. And we're ready to defend ourselves. Probably like a couple of them are Rahunga. Kanoka? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, people just don't come back from the dead that easily. Hujo, good to see you. I have to talk to you and Vekama alone. It's very important to your destiny. Uh, that's uh, not good. That's pretty sus. But you're dead. We saw you die. We were at your funeral. No, I'm very much alive, Plano, and very lucky to be so. I don't know how it happened, but I survived the lava. All I remember was fire, and then everything went black. Then I was in water. We found him swimming out of, out of the ocean, very exhausted, but otherwise unharmed. Apparently, there is some sort of protective power over him. He must have sunk in the lava and lost consciousness, then pushed out to sea by the lava river, and then floated up to the surface where we where he eventually woke up. When did that happen to me, though? I just got a game over. We were going to have Tahu send a message to Vekama. But a walk now attacked the village, while Jaller and I were helping Kanoka recover his strength. Kanoka had been had to eat practically the whole eatery before he could walk without help. Tahu drove the beast away and chased it before we could, could say anything. The attack caused severe damage to the Koro, and there were minor injuries. I tried to help, but I was still too weak. But I feel normal again now. Anyways, that's not the secret news. I had a, a vision while I was dead, and my vision appeared to the stra on the strange pedestal in Takoro 2. I can't tell it to anybody but Vekama and you, Hujo, and we must hurry. Wow, well, Vekama's in the main hall, helping to guard. Wait a second here. So, many Rahunga have faked their deaths. How do we know you aren't one? A what? A Rahunga, it's the hidden enemy. Sorry, we forgot to tell you. Traitors, you mean. Tahunga who served Makuta. This is Vit Kanoka we're talking about. I have known him for a thousand years. He is our greatest and most trusted warrior. He died. Well, also died. Saving Jala's life. He guarded Hujo on mapping expeditions many times. And I trust all these guards. Believe me, his story raised my eyebrows too. 
but I'm not just trusting him because he saved my life. He's proven himself to be Makuta's worst enemy. True, I would, I would be so be very shocked given his reputation if he is a Rahunga. But I was very shocked when Jombo betrayed us. He was my best friend. And I saw that one Anu Koronin who faked his death, remember? But I didn't see Kanoka at their camp. I can't imagine that Kanoka would betray us, but Takuto has a point, Kanoka. How do I know you aren't a Rahunga? Surely there was some hint to how you survived. Hint of how you survived. Well, I guess you can't know. But I have to know. If you're a Rahunga, and I don't think you are, you could destroy the maps of Rugen in making when we, when we talk, take you to Vekama. There's got to be something you can say to convince us. No, I don't think there is, Hujo. I can't f know for sure. You have to trust me. What about your vision? You could just tell me alone, and then I could go tell Vekama. We're not leaving you alone, Hujo. I trust Kanoka, but a real Turahonga could attack two Matoran easier than all of us together. And my vision made it clear I have to tell both of you at once, and it was to be in the same room where Rugen is making the maps. I'm sorry, but there's no other way. Shadow fire. What? Did your vision mention shadow fire? No, why? You said, you said that when you hit the lava, you said you saw fire and everything went black. Yes, look, we need to hurry. No, you have, you, I have to know this because, because of my fear, did the fire itself look black? When you saw the fire, Hujo, it was normal. Orange fire, not black or blue. From the outside, normal fire is blue from the inside only. I think this fire looked black on the inside, answer me. Hujo, I'm on your side. No, no, you're not. You are the Shadow Fire! You are the Rahunga! You fooled all these guards. You faked your death, didn't you? Hujo, don't. It, it's these hidden enemies, Rahunga. They've got you paranoid. I'm not one. Everybody form up. This story fits the Shadow Fire fire far too closely. I hope I'm wrong, but we can't afford to find out the hard way. He's the only he's the one that gave me that tablet that stole the maps. Did Takua really give you that, Kanoka? If you wait for Tahu to check in, and Tahu asked Takua, what would he say? Takua lost his memory. He talked with Vekama and came back for his things. Someone would tell him of it. Why hasn't anybody seen it before, other than you? Takua is talkative. He would have told someone. Who told Famuka to destroy Jala's map? You. Why did you see the shadow of the hidden enemy in the forest and not Agni, who was guarding with you? Was it really there? I hate to say it, but he's right about how this looks. You can prove him wrong now if you stand down and leave Kininui. So be it. I always knew you were smart, Hujo. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Have fun fighting. I'll figure out a way into the hall myself. These are Lariki Bullet Hoverfish. They absorb light, heat, and even impact energy to grow stronger. Only the Snow Chucker will drain their power with cold energy. Deal with these hoverfish. I'll go sound the alarm. There's some extra snowball ammo in case you here's some extra snowball ammo in case you need it. these already. I think this is healing. Yep, okay. There's a snow chucker. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
I, am I doing here? watching this fight. Oh, they hit the crystals and then they speed up. Okay. Oh, I have to pick him up. Phew, I guess Kanoka's tool power is illusion. Sorry, Hujo. I was wrong about him. Maybe there is still good in him, though. Try to talk as you fight. See if you can draw him out. Just don't let your guard down. I wish you'd been right, Plano. This is horrible. You know, I'm almost glad it happened, because, just because how I know. I'm not sure at all, and that terrified me more than seeing him transform. I think I know what my fear is. But let's hurry, the maps have to be protected. Or all of this means nothing. Looks like he's trying to use a Kanohi Matatu to unlock the door with his mind. That's a real Kanoka disc of power he's firing. He's living up to his name. Kikane and the others are holding him off for now, but look at Kininui. Those are f Kofu Wak Wak now, cousins of the the of much larger borrowing Wak now beast, smaller but much more high energy. They must have burrowed under the walls. Even a Toa could handle capture would have trouble capturing one. Only Kanoka could have infected them. And look, they're attacking Kinui's structure. I diversion, but what Makuta knows we can't ignore. You have to fight them all, Hujo, and capture them to make sure they can't get infected again. Put them in your energy pack. Just know that they are experts at dodging projectile attacks and have strong armor. Only the strong punch of a Tahunga arm will defeat them. So what it means is, I, these are their me melee only? Well, I guess we got a melee only then.
two. For some reason, they're much harder to attack horse vertically and horizontally. Maybe they just have more freedom to move in the vertical. This is like the short interval one, it's just, yeah, just only up for a brief moment.
Got two hits. Boilingly frustrated here. Gonna like blow a gasket. Third hit out of like 20 that are needed. Four hits. Stop digging all of a sudden. Yay! That's like half the battle. Okay, that's all of them. Now confront Kanoka. With all of us facing him together, maybe we can stop him from getting in the hall. So, you got past my Rahi. Amazing, I must say, but you'll fall now. How can you do this, Kanoka? I have always greatly respected and admired you. 
You're my friend. I know there's something in you that's good. There has to be. Friends are for the weak, you fool. I'm weak. Those weren't just any old Rahi. No Tahoga has ever captured one before, except you. I saw the surprise on your face. We did it with unity, Kanoka. I could shatter your unity right now by killing these friends of yours. What would you do? You'd accidentally move to the next line of dialogue. Makuta wouldn't let you. He wants to conquer these Tahonga, so he needs them alive. And now I am done shedding tears for dead friends. I'll save that for your real funeral, if that's what you want. Maybe I misjudged you, Hujo. You could be a great Rahunga. There's a lot to be done. There's a lot you don't know about me, Kanoka. Now look, you're surrounded. I have a flare ready to signal Ito to come out. Remember, he's already captured a Rahunga. You can fight this out if you insist. You might win, but I doubt it. This is the low ground for you. I know you think you're looking for the high ground. I know how you think. This is a battle, Hujo, not a lava river. You might have picked up on some of my strategies for mapping expeditions, but your smarts come from chiseling tablets. You think I only map landscapes? You're a tactician, but I'm an observer. I learn more than you know. Like what? Like the importance of hitting targets the first time. Fine, you win for now. But I know this. I already know where you're going and will be there ahead of you. That will be the high ground. We're safe now for we're safe here for now, Matt Maker. Go find your destiny. We we scared him off, but we got lucky. He has some powers he decided not to use, thanks to you. Hujo, that was amazing. I think I don't I don't know about you, but I think he was so impressed he considered giving in. So Makuta told him to leave. Maybe there's hope yet for the Rahunga. Good job, Mamaker. Without the Matatu there, there's no way he could get through the door. What am I supposed to do here? Go to the second floor of King Nui Hall again. Okay. What happened? It was Kanoka. He's not dead. He's a Rahunga. We defeated his Rahi and drove him away for now. But he says he'll be waiting whenever I need to go, wherever I need to go next. I don't know what to say. I trusted Kanoka with the lives of everyone in Takoro. The stone maps are finished. Place the Pyrokoku stone on these tiles that appeared. They will be in a circle around the center map, just like your vision said. Yep, that's correct. That's the correct orientation. Hujo! An inscription has appeared on this side of the center map. It is our own language. Come read it. What is your greatest fear? Inscribe it on this pedestal. With the first little cat letter capitalized and the other letters lowercase. Is there capital and lowercase in Matoran? Okay, how many letters are there?
Why can't I type in this UI? <laughs> That is not the map maker's fear. Okay. I mean, you could argue that it's kind of weak to guess it without hints. Even though the hint, it, the game gives you the hint. Like, it's part of the game, so there shouldn't be any shame in looking at it. But, uh, I really don't know. Like, I should have, you, if you pay attention, you should be... Like, just from the context of the story, I really don't have a very good idea. That was my best guess was betrayal. What if it was rejection? Okay, so it's one word, seven letters. So something like betrayal is eight letters, so it would be wrong. It describes puzzles, mysteries, questions, secrets, forgotten artifacts, a hidden people, and your last destiny. Okay. Like, let me know if you guessed it before I do. This is a really lame fear, by the way. But it's seven letters, and it involves mysteries, puzzles in your destiny, so... Destiny is also seven letters. The future. Okay, another thing. The... Now, I can't spell things very well, so I could misspell something and miss it for that reason. The unknown. Oh, okay. So I got it in two hints. I don't know what the remaining hints are. That is lame, Bonesy, just to let you know. That's so generic. are the journey stones. I see the songs of all six Koro and the Kiri Nui, the eighth song. I, I assume that that is where you must go now. And these red dots, they show where all infected rocky on the island are. Well, I want to take you, Ito, Nijiri, and Rugen, and fly from the hall's seventh level to the secret location. Don't forget to bring the Pyrokoku stones. Pick up though, okay. Go to the seventh floor of the Kini Nui Hall.
I guess the pyrococo stones go on these color tiles. Fire one is always special. Another hole? But how is that possible? A moment ago, that hole was a stone. Well, don't just speak talk in hop. Please say something. Is there some like Easter egg in this area somewhere? Nope. Well, here we go. What prompt me to save the game? Looks like a maze. I hate mazes. But you're you. You fear the unknown, not mazes. Or it's because the mazes are unknown. Look at that first pedestal. There are scratch words on it. They might be hints. The labyrinth of the unknown. Okay. Defeat at least 50 Rahi to earn protos. Five protos per Rahi defeated. Sure. Just one. Um... We have one of those? Okay, we have some of those, okay. Mine crate. Some more of that. Whoa. Okay. So there are bad beasts to fight. I think bet Makuda Thimbot to tough make the maze. And no clue hints. I didn't think there would be. His fear is the unknown. So no hints. No help? Others than us. And we'll help as best as we can, here, Joe. Thanks. Here, take the Route 2 tablet. It will not show the bad beasts map like. Go into the actions menu to off turn it or change the frame rate. This is quite long. Um, I guess we don't want to leave the map edges. Better get back to the start. Huh? That's very peculiar.
Okay, no gaps there. Cool, so I'm going to save my game here. Now I'm not gonna end the recording, I'm just gonna save the game. Cause I, cause it, you, I should save, well, there's only 15 files to save in. Well, we're gonna overwrite number one. Okay, I should save before I go into this. These are closely packed, so let's try. This is this it? Oh, they spawn again. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you defeat them or not, they just spawn. Oh, it splits. Oh, no. We're gonna hug right here. Okay, continuing to hug right, but we gotta. Okay, hugging right. Hugging right. Hug right. Let's see if we end up in a closed loop. Okay, continue to hug right. Continue to hug right. Hugging right still. Okay, so if you go out of it, then you go back to the start. Okay, so we're gonna hug right, but we're gonna treat that as a dead end. Just be patient. Thank you. 
if hugging right means hugging right, so we're doing this. Okay. Need to hug right. Hugging. Just walk, walk, walk with your right hand. Okay. Keep touching the wall with your right hand. Not another maze. <laughs> Are they gonna they're gonna mess me up with closed loops this time? Let me look around the outside first. Okay. Is that equipped? I wasted some ammo to make sure it was equipped. Pretty intense. Can I see where the kind of the general so general vicinity of the of the, the the solution is kind of towards the left, okay. Toward the left edge, the upper upper left corner. Okay, here we go. Just gonna hug right through this. Unless it gives me a closed loop, then that's gonna stop working, but... Let's hope he doesn't give me a closed loop. Okay. You know what? I know for absolute certainty, because it's a bisection, that this has to be the right way to go. So...
I have to, I have to, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna hug right from here, but I know I have to go to the le like, the left side, right? Because I know the answer's on the left side. Okay, hug and right. All the way up. Hmm. Since those don't do anything. I once thought they were spawn points, that's where the Rahi came out of, but... I have never ever actually seen any Rahi come out of one. Okay. Don't make accidentally come out, go outside the maze again. Okay, we're back to the second drill. So we should appear see the, the start pretty soon. Okay, we'll go down here first. See if this goes anywhere. So back to the, near the start here. Cool. All the way up to the top. Okay, go in this one now. Yeah, let's tug right.
Thank you. Whatever I was doing, it wasn't hugging right anymore. I was hugging left. I guess I'll keep hugging left then. I ended up hugging the wrong side in the end. Well, oops. Come on. You defeated 90. It's going to be a third maze, right? There's always three. Oh, there's going to be six, isn't there? I think it's safe to say there are six. Oh, pfft. Well, I say it while it's... You wouldn't have known they didn't just read that. 
I said that because I was thought, oh, it's going to be all six elements, but then it said it. You wouldn't know that I didn't just read it off. Okay. I think it's safe to say that there are at least six bases like this, one for each Wahi. Maybe even seven, one for Kininui. I think, guess, we will battle fight Kanoka instead of the seventh maze. This is getting meta. Well, let's just concentrate on this maze for now. <laughs> Okay. Why? Let's see if we can see it on the edge again. How would they make six? That's so tedious. Like, if you had six, uh... Imagine, like, putting this together in RPG Maker. <laughs> it's as tedious to make as it is to do. Well, probably... Yeah, probably close. Okay. So it's in the upper left corner. So I'm gonna go to the upper left. large chamber here. Okay. Trying to count how many exits there are to the chamber. There are none. Okay, cool. Wait a second. Okay, well, I'm gonna check this again. This is mean there's a fault. This is a false maze entrance. See how let's see how continuous this wall is. So it goes up continuously, then over, then down. Yeah, that goes to a dead end inside. Thank you. 
I defeated them all. Does that open something up? Oh yeah, they are spawn points, aren't they? Okay. Defeating them all doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, now I have to go around and look for a false another entrance, because he's he had an entrance to a dead end. Being troll. I don't see any true entrances. when that opens and when it closes or whatever because I keep missing this but it goes to a dead end though
bless it. I'm so dumb. I was in the right spot. Ah, phooey. We traced fine so far. Guess the edge, don't go up there. Next one. Look. The hole for the space is right there. Yeah, it's totally blocked. What now? Well, I should have taken a hit for the previous maze, but I didn't. Well, let's try to wipe out find a, a, a door key or something or wipe out all the enemies. I think the key, let's see if there's, walk around and see if we see a key on the outskirts. And then if we, if we can't find a key in the maze, then we'll try to um, defeat all the enemies in the maze and see if that helps or something. At least, to do it at least once. It's kind of like what we did on the previous maze.
Okay, I don't see anything out here. ground inside here. No, it looks like the spawn, spawn order is, it, there's nothing, we're not, we're not getting like, it can spawn from the same point, points over and over again, basically. I used to actually go over there and look at some of those points. I'm gonna go to the right side first because that's where they're all coming from. That was a that was blocked.
like less than half my ammo pack. Cool. Guess I gotta buy more ammo. Okay, well, I think I'll hang it up for now because I'm tired of playing this at the moment. And, uh, go through the last three May segments in my next recording. Ugh. Cool. Ooh, let's see how long that was. Three and a half hours. Well, if you watched all that, thank you for watching it.